Hi everyone! Welcome to Soup Top Recipes. Today, I want to make a Chinese food that most Chinese people don't even know about. That would be Mongolian beef. According to my research, this dish was originally invented in USA, so it's like the well-known American Chinese dish. But there's no doubt, it tastes super delicious. I got a lot of requests for it. People are asking me to make the authentic Mongolian beef. Since this is not a dish that you will find in China, so I would say there is no the authentic way to make this. But in this video, I'm gonna share you my tips that will take this dish to another level. Let's get started. I got some beef here. My first tips for you is to slice the beef into 5 mm thick. Personally, I think this is the perfect thickness. I don't recommend slicing it thinner than this because it will dry out quickly during the frying. Normally, I will season it with some Chinese cooking wine, but I am in Ecuador now. I couldn't find the Chinese cooking wine in this whole city, so I find out that the same amount of beer works just fine. I thought this would be a good substitution for Chinese cooking wine. Don't use dark beer. I think it would turn out a bit of bitter at the end. After that, I will add some salt and black pepper. If you get a cheap cut, which might be tough, you can add a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. It will help tenderize the beef. But if you get a nice cut, it is not necessary. Let this sit for 30 minutes. This is 30 minutes later. We will coat the beef with some cornstarch. Give it a little mix to make sure the cornstarch is distributed. Then we will add one and a half of egg white. This is the first one. The second one, we just need half of it. Mix it again. After you make sure that every piece of beef is coated nicely, you still want to keep massaging it for another 5 minutes to give it enough time to tenderize the meat. So this is my second tips. Cornstarch and egg white is a very common technique in Chinese cuisine. It gives a lot of moisture to the beef and creates a starchy layer to lock the juiciness inside the meat. So the beef will turn out super tender and juicy. Try it and you will be surprised. Heat up 2 cups of frying oil to 370 degrees Fahrenheit. The most important thing is to get the oil to the right temperature so the beef will have a nice outside layer. I usually put the beef as close as possible to the oil and then drop it in. In this way, the oil won't splash everywhere. Add your beef piece by piece, otherwise they will clump up together. Make sure you fry them in batches because it overflows easily. The oil is very hot, so it will just take one or two minutes. Don't fry it too long because you don't want to overcook your beef. What we are looking for is the slightly golden color on the edge of the beef. I use a sieve to get rid of the excess oil. Check this. If you touch it, you can feel that inside is still soft. If you take a bite now, the beef should be perfect. If you think this is too much oil, you can also blanch it which is the healthy way. Boil a pot of water and add your meat in, which I already prepared it with egg white and cornstarch. The same method I did with the beef. This is pork 
it is not for this recipe I am just using it to show you how to do the blanching process and yes of course you can use beef pork chicken whatever meat you like for this recipe no problems wait about one minute and then take it out shake it a little bit to get rid of the excess water so this is the healthy way that you don't need the oil at all now you can do whatever you need to do next this method is called velveting we often use it in soup stir fry dish anyway what kind of method you want to use for this recipe it's gonna be your choice now Let's get back to the Mongolian beef. Before we start the stir frying process, let's quickly make the sauce. Two teaspoons of cornstarch, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, three tablespoons of soy sauce, three tablespoons of brown sugar, Two third cups of water. I think it needs a little bit color, so I add one teaspoon of dark soy sauce. Mix it well. Set the sauce aside. We will use that later. Heat up the pan. Add about 1.5 tablespoon of cooking oil, one tablespoon of minced ginger. 1.5 tablespoon of minced garlic and some white part of the spring onion. I like to use the white part for stir frying because they don't get soggy easily. And I also reserve the green part to add at the end. Stir this until fragrant. Pour in the sauce. Stir it until it thickens up. Add the beef back into the pan. Mix everything together. Once you see the beef is coated with that shiny, thick, flavorful sauce, you can add the spring onion. Give it a few final toss, then take it out and serve it with white rice. So, this is my version of American Chinese takeout dish. I just want to quickly explain why we call Mongolian beef as a Chinese food, but Chinese people don't know about it. Because the technique we're using in this recipe is very common in Chinese cuisine. And in China, we do have a similar dish like this, which called Chongbao Niu Rou. So what's the difference between these two dishes? Mongolian beef tastes sweeter and has a lot more sauce. Chongbao Niu Rou tastes salty but less saucy. <laughs> However, this is a super simple recipe, but the flavor will really surprise you. And if you follow the exact instruction of the cornstarch egg white technique, Oh my god, I'm telling you, you will have the most soft, tender stir-fry beef ever. So, I hope you give this a try soon. If you did, leave me a comment and let me know how it went. As always, check the description for the written down recipe and please give me a thumbs up. If you like Chinese food, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any episode. If you want to know more about me or support me, check out my Patreon link right there. And I'll see you next time. Bye.